Uh oh, it's the emojis episode. Yay, emojis, my favorite. A bunch of things to point out up top here. First of all, you're going to hear the cover of the theme song that I very poorly sung. Uh, Mickey Weishner sent this in, and if you watch the TV show over here on the same YouTube Which channel, you should do it. It's so good. Uh, you'll hear the updated version that Mickey provided us with, because he's just a lovely guy, just a wonderful talent. And a blessing to the universe. And it's so much better. I know. My voice is not great at singing. Memories all alone in the moon. Okay. Note taken. Note taken. Uh, so the Emojis episode was also broadcast on Facebook Live. If you go over to our Facebook Ooh. page at facebook.com slash don't mind the show, uh, and you go to our videos, you'll be able to watch this one. If you don't just want to listen to it, you just like this lovely intro we're providing, and then you want to see the visuals, you can do that even now. Technology. And like the page. Follow the page. She's my enforcer. Anyway, uh, a phenomenal comedian by the name of Katie Berry, as well as just a phenomenal actor by the name of Michael Silverblatt, joined us to kind of show me the glory that is emojis. Well, they joined you. They joined me. Yeah. And Grant at the time. Uh, you weren't there. You weren't, we weren't, we hadn't even met yet. I'm the new Grant. You're, you're so much more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was uh, awe-inspiring. That might be a lie. It was good, though. Uh, and I learned a lot about how it transcends language, these weird little emoji guys. Do you have anything to add? I like putting ten emojis in a text, and Aaron doesn't like punctuation. I, I don't see where it's necessary to add a period at the end of a text, unless I'm mad at someone. It could be a Facebook status, and you're still not going to punctuate I don't need the second to, sentence. I don't need to end it. It's like tweet culture. How many tweets do that? I refuse to call it X. Yeah, we're not calling it X. Fuck you, Elon. Well, we can call it the nest thing. That's so much worse. <laughs> no, it's equally bad. We it's can equally call it bad. birdhouse. Your uh, hair clip is poking into my brain. Good. Well, enjoy. You may love a thing that I can't stand Spiders, tofu, watching Homeland Our interests are all varying It's fun to be contrarian But I'll try things that you all love To see if I can rise above But maybe there's a chance that I just won't So in that case, don't mind if I don't Welcome to Don't Mind If I Don't. I'm your host, Aaron Gold. This is the show where I don't like things, and we have fans and experts come on the show and tell me why I am wrong. And hopefully I'll see the error of my ways. A uh, couple things to point out. First of all, that wonderful theme that you heard was a cover of our normal theme. Thank you, Mickey Weishner, for sending that in. That was awesome. Uh, your voice lifts my heart and spirits. Uh, also, I would like to... Uh, mentioned that right now we are currently on Facebook Live, so if you make a lot of visual gags, you can go to our Facebook page uh, slash Don't Mind Podcast to see all of that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to our guests. We've got two wonderful emoji experts. First of all, writer, comedian, and performer in hip hop improv show uh, North Coast. Katie Barry is here. Hi. Hi, Katie. Hello, Aaron, and the listenership and the Facebook world. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> we also have uh, actor, voice actor, and Kaplan instructor for English, a student of the English language, Michael Silverblatt. Woo-hoo. What's up, guys? Ooh. Hey, hey listeners. Have also, you Grant is here, as always. Yeah, He's yeah. here in the, the background of the, the Facebook video. It's Looking miserable. It's really weird if we don't <laughs> call him out as just this faceless guy. <laughs> Hi, Grant. How are you? Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> uh, so, guys, why do you like emojis? Um, well, as a comedian, I like emojis because it's just it's just some another tool in your tool belt to play with to make people laugh on Facebook or Twitter or just in your texts. I actually just got a message from someone. It was a goat blowing a fart. <laughs> <laughs> 
just, there is no way that is an emoji. There is no way. <laughs> you have to get creative because there's a lot of different stuff, and the fun of it is mixing and matching things to create. It was just a little. How goat many emojis like, did it take to make a goat blowing up? Two. Out? It was the goat emoji, and it was the puff of air emoji. But together, it's mm. the cleanest goat fart. And then I also like it because. How I, do you know that wasn't just a goat running fast? Honey, it was a goat fart. You see, you don't. I mean, I you're you're not familiar with what they even look like. I, I know some of them. If you put an emoji of a guy running in action pose and put it, yeah, it would look like a guy running. But if it's a completely stationary goat and the puff of air is coming out of his ass, it's a it's a goat. It's probably fart. it's a goat fart. Gotcha. And it was Clarify. hilarious. <laughs> and also, I feel like I'm just a very direct, like tough lady sometimes, and emojis help me soften. <laughs> they help things like get Katie you are a human dandelion I don't I don't oh my god cross me cross me bitch oh there it is oh <laughs> yeah no, I mean I'm I just very, I can be very like like direct and I feel like sometimes um, they help avoid miscommunication here's a question am I sweating profusely right now because I feel like I am you don't look sweaty. You I don't, don't look sweaty. I feel sweaty everywhere. Take He's your just shirt nervous. off. Take your shirt off. Mm. Facebook you an undershirt. Live. Yeah. You know what? Facebook Live. This is He's what you get. Gonna do it. This is. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, Facebook world. Yeah. TGIF. Oh, oh the muscle Ooh. shirt. Hell Aaron yeah. Gold. Yeah. Always wear Aaron. an undershirt because Aaron that Gold catches member. the sweat too. While <laughs> that's going on, now I'm shirtless. And aren't you? Aren't Ooh. you? Aren't you wishing that you could see? This glistening shoulder that would be glistening if it wasn't covered in mountains of hair. Mm. <laughs> you look uh, listener. Like, I feel look like we're at, at a beach party. I want like a Michelob Ultra. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. I've got. I actually picked this Red Bull because it matched my shirt, but now I don't have a shirt. So that's magic. Anyway, Michael. Yes. Why do you like emojis? I like emojis um, because it's another form of expression, right? So yeah. both you and I are actors. In some capacity, all three of us. All three of us. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, all three of us are. We got some. We got some commonalities here, and it's. I think we can all connect on that level. Of the fact that it is another mode of expression that transcends language barriers. It's also super, super important to certain microcultures across the world, and that in and of itself is just a really fascinating part of emojis. Um, and they. What do you be, mean microcultures? Well, we, I, I <laughs> typed up this whole little list. Um, it's yeah, really, you, you sent uh, uh, a <laughs> like a wonderful, really in depth thing that made me kind of instantly respect emojis a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll totally get into it in this, uh, in this podcast, but it's like really <laughs> important to, um, especially Japanese culture where it originated from. And so that's, uh, something that we can all attest to and how it's, how it's, uh, it sparked a lot of what we know as mobile communication mm. and internet today. So I wow. think it, I owe a lot of respect to emojis. Okay. Uh, well, if you've never listened to the show before, uh, everything that comes through, uh, every topic gets rated on a scale of one to 10, uh, well, zero to 10, zero being total ambivalence, could take it or leave it. 10 being blood curdling hatred. Holy crap. Uh, emojis, uh, rank in at about a, I'll, I'll give it a four. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, this, kind be, of a this five. won't be that hard of a sell. Maybe. I hope not. It's, I, I, I don't know. Like if it's like a, a smiley face or one of those like emotion faces, Oh, that, that makes sense. But when it's like goat farts, a building, farting. syringe, uh, water drops, <laughs> I'm just like, I, just say words. Oh. Or it's like, I, 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 it bugs me a lot when I see like 12 little like dragon ones in a row. <laughs> And I'm just like, what did, what did that mean? They're just like, just dragons, dragons. man. Like, fuck you. No. Like, it, it, uh, I, 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 I oh. will fully admit I am being a crotchety old man you about are, this. Like, who hurt you in your childhood that you're like, that's too many dragons? All right. Like, dragons was a bad example because I fucking dead. love dragons. But, yeah, bitch. But like 12 oranges. I'm like, why just say like, I got a bunch of oranges. I got a dozen oranges. Yeah. <laughs> you could. It's so much easier. Do you feel the same way about exclamation marks, though? Do you have a certain set limit of exclamation marks that you feel is acceptable? For the most part, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll do three at max. Uh, <laughs> but if you're really, if you're like going for a comedy, if you're going for a comedy, uh, <laughs> then you can go like all out and stuff. Like then if it's for a joke. But if you're just like, uh, 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 hey, will I see you at the bar uh, later tonight? Yes. 13 exclamation points. I'm just like. Never mind. I'm nope. saying it. <laughs> like, that's too. What? I am uncomfortable now. 
<laughs> because they're like super excited to go to the bar. But they're not that you. excited. That's the thing about emojis. They're lies. But that's an assumption. That's an assumption because that is on you that you don't trust people's genuine nature. If someone's like, yes, and you're like, you're not that excited. Well, maybe they are. And <laughs> maybe you're just... A little jaded. I'm trying to. I'm gonna no, no, argue. no, 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 no. <laughs> please, these the are good. This is the total point. I want to be wrong. Okay. Uh, like, because I don't know. It's there's a part of me. It's like, oh, that does seem fun. Yeah. But there's also another part of me. Like, I I don't use a standard keyboard. I use a swipe keyboard. Okay. Um, oh. I don't know if you guys know swipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it just makes things easier for the the viewers. It's you text like this without moving your finger from the the keyboard. It can be uh, efficient sometimes. It's extremely efficient uh, unless I make a lot of typos. Ooh, but I yeah. would love to do a type off with you where we each have to write a sentence and I go regular thumbs and you go swipe because oh, I'm like I'll a win. maven. I will <laughs> win. I'll win with my one good thumb. Uh, I've got two good thumbs, but I can only need the one. I'm like, we're going to do that. We're going to do. I think there's time at the end of the do show. You have, we should, do you have swipe I'm on curious. your phone? I unfortunately don't. No, all right. It's just all tight. Well, Ooh. okay. That's going to be tough be because we're using Facebook judge. live yeah, with true. my phone. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There's a phone here. Oh, it's a Blackberry. Oh. Yeah. We'll figure it out. All right. Uh, I did want to jump really quick on what you were talking about with all of the the things that you find annoying about emojis. My sort of mode going into this conversation is actually, I think it's totally valid to convince you to like emojis while also acknowledging the things that are annoying about them. I think that's a totally valid way of going about it in the same way that chocolate. I love chocolate, but too much chocolate is a bad thing that there are there because of diabetes because of diabetes mm-hmm. and same thing for <laughs> emojis too many too many emojis and too many too, a, a misuse of them emojis uh, emojis was what you emojis emojis I like you could I kind of like that I like emojis it's it, when you I'm do a meetup that uh, but you can only communicate with emojis mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's like <laughs> a, a speed dating thing. Oh, I've yeah. never heard of that. Oh, that's because we made we it just up made just it up. now. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> whatever. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> what was the other thing you wanted to jump on? No, that was, that was basically it. Just the fact that uh, going in, I think we'll, we'll end up agreeing on a lot of the things that people have conceptions about emojis that, are, that make them annoying, that make them unattractive to some people, specifically people that are, are more language and word oriented. And and less emotion oriented. I don't know if you consider yourself an emotion oriented type of guy. I I'm, I can get emotional. Okay. Yeah. You okay. are so in touch with your feelings. I, I yeah, am. He does, he like I I have a lot of feelings at all points. You do. It's uh, a good thing. Oh, thank you. No. <laughs> I feel like the easy joke would be like to go like, "What do you mean by that?" But it no, felt I, dirty. I, no. Yeah. I like that you're being like, "Yes." Yeah. I have emotions. I'm I like, do. Much. Progressiveness. Mm-hmm. Gender roles. Yeah, no. Manhood isn't about not having emotions. It's about nope. having them and admitting it and then dealing with them. And also using emojis, and, okay, which are now, not oh, just right. for girls. That, See, that's I, an interesting thing. Yeah, mostly mm-hmm. girls use emojis. Well, I was actually worried when you were like, do you want to come on and talk about emojis? Because I was like, I don't want to come on and be the girl who's like, I am money. I am <laughs> Because I'm like, I know they have that like little stigma like because they're cartoony and they're cute and they're sparkly hearts but um you know i'm a strong woke woman (laughs) and i think dudes like the guy that sent me the farting goat has a penis (laughs) and (laughs) am i convincing you well actually the Um, reason i I wanted you on is because like uh we don't we don't really text but i saw on facebook like a bunch of your your statuses have like a bunch of uh, emojis on them and like you've made me laugh with them a few times so i was just like all right, Katie. Will, Katie will be a great guest. In what on this. way? I'm curious. Like, what, yeah. what about the emoji caused you to laugh? I don't. I, I, I. Katie was the very first person I saw. I think it was you. Um, that like in between the words had the clapping one. Oh, so it sounded like this. Yeah. Like, and like yeah. that. That I was like, oh, that's really clever. The first time I saw that. You know what? If you and you told me you like what is it? Gifts or gifs? I'm against the GIF thing. It's GIFs. It's GIFs. Oh, no. It's GIFs. Oh, yeah. It's GIFs. No. I don't no. care what... Okay. I know that they, the people that created it said GIF, <laughs> but you know what? It's it's graphics. It's yeah. not graphics. That, it's exactly. GIF. Right. Grant, you, do, what do you say? GIF or GIF? 
He says gif. Well, he, okay, but still. Anyway, you said you like gifs. <laughs> I do. And I'm like, emojis are to me. To me, I love gifs because like nothing's lost in translation. You can really nail. You can nail a mood. You could, you could say fuck you, uh, like fuck you, or fuck you, or like fuck you. There's a how would you how would you do those it. three different ones with emojis? If I said, okay, well, I would say fuck you, but then it depends on the face that goes along with it. What's the face? So there's, I mean, fuck you with like a smirky face. That's like, ah, you got me. Can you do the smirky face for... (laughs) (laughs) I look like I'm Bell's palsy. (laughs) (laughs) My brother had it. I can say that. Just kidding. Oh, my God. Um, He doesn't? uh, no, he used it. He had it when he had Lyme disease and half of his face went dead. Wait, it's something that can be cured? Bell's palsy? Yeah. Yeah, it came and went. It was like, yeah, it, it's not, My I don't know. mom's cat has it. <laughs> mm. This is the only cat. Mm. One of the only, ca- like the third cat How ever. No. Because no. uh, his name's Chaka and his mouth is just always <laughs> open. So he always same. just looks shocked. <laughs> and like, I, uh, I just had some fun. So whenever I see him, I'm always like, uh. Uh, Chaka, the president's been assassinated. Oh, oh my Chaka, God. Chaka, I'm pregnant. Why don't you make him an Instagram famous cat? That oh, I should. Eat that shit up. You realize He's how much Maine. money you could make from I just get that Instagram money? Oh, yeah. It's so true. That's Shock some, kitty. Oh, God, yeah. All right, that'll be a thing. Okay. I'm glad we're boosting your career through this. Thank you. <laughs> at the <yeah>. very least. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could be like, fuck you with like the smirky face. It's like, what's up? There's the fucking Let's angry smirky. face. We did the smirky. <laughs> oh, okay. Then what's the? All right. Then let's see the same one. <laughs> you look like you're doing a camera take to the time. '90s. I had a hard time. Um, there's like angry. There's like puff of air out the nose. Angry. There's like. Um, I feel like if someone sent me "fuck you" with an angry face, I'd be like, "Oh, you're putting that on." But if they sent me just "fuck you" and then left it without an emoji, then I'd feel the anger. And that's totally and, yeah. valid. And that's the thing. I feel like emojis. You, you say they can convey a range of emotions, but they can only convey some of them. Okay, but here's the thing. If you're having a really intense argument with your best friend, um, and you are like, I really want to tell her, fuck you, because I really feel that. But I also don't want to break ties or like really hurt my friend. Then you, using the mad face emoji kind of gets across like, fuck you, I'm mad, but I still love mm-hmm. you enough to use a cartoon when I say fuck you. So this is a really interesting point of discussion because studies have shown that emojis have this fe- effect of making people feel more appreciated in workplace communication, which is strange because one of the most <laughs> studies. I know. What? So I'll pull this fucking up. fucking studies, know, Michael? Right? Oh. I know. Here we go. I got it all prepared. Bring, bring. So uh, one. <laughs> what's it, one of the most common uh, uh, criticisms of, of emojis is the fact that they're not professional, right? Like the, you in a, in a normal workplace, you would never send emojis in a workplace email. Yeah, they're kind email. of childish. They're kind of childish. And, and you, you wouldn't expect your CEO of some Fortune 500 company to send you a, an emoji written email no. that seems something that's relegated to preteens and something like that. But um, if you and I, I have this printed out for you that uh, so negative feedback when it comes from superiors, uh, they it can sometimes read as a little emotionally stale and which can make people get a little anxious and a little, because they don't know how to read the body language when it's just coming up. And so when emojis are thrown in to the email, at least just one little smiley face at the end, um, studies have shown that the people that receive them feel more compelled to actually do what's being asked of them. And they feel a little happier from their boss that they don't well, let me, yeah. let me, let me clarify yeah. the smiley faces like those I'm, I'm fine with. Those are like basic ones. Right. We're talking about dragons. Emoticons yeah. are fine. Emojis are not fine. Yeah. <laughs> Got, Got it. it. Was, actually, you know, I, I, I know I said I was the one that said dragons cause I was racking my head to think of an emoji and like the few times I've used emojis, I was just looking through the emojis going like, what do I like? I like dragons. Here are two dragon ones. <laughs> oh my God. And then I stopped and I was like, why are there two different dragon ones? Why? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, but they also, yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about what the difference is between an emoticon and an emoji. An emoticon being, uh, it could be a smiley face that yeah. is used from characters. So like the colon, the dash, and the parentheses. But an emoji would be the actual smiley face that you see vertically in yellow. Well, those or, I'm fine with. 
Say it again. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just cool. want to say for everyone listening at home I, that all I could think about is if you wanted to say you're going to see Imagine Dragons, you could use the <laughs> thinky face emoji, the thought bubble emoji, and the dragon. Immediately, I did not want to go to that concert. I'm like, um, I have the perfect way of communicating that band name. I just want to throw that in there for the people at home. Well, there's also another way of communicating that band name using <laughs> alphabet. Okay, but mm-hmm. emojis is only three keystrokes, and writing out Imagine Dragons is like 47. First of all, <laughs> we got to check that math. Uh, <laughs> second of all, but then you've got to go to the thing. Like, that's another reason why I don't use it that much, because I use a different keyboard. It's not like a one button to get to the emoji right. thing. Right. I'd have to longer. hold down a thing, bring it up, then, okay, scroll through. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's that category. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a thinking person. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, let's go where, uh, oh yeah. Animals. Uh, let's keep going all the way to the right till we get to the mythical animals. There are the dragons. Great. Boom. And send. Imagine dragons. 20 minutes later, the tickets are already sold out. Oh, you're being dramatic. I That's, am. That is a very curmudgeon grandpa way to be like, it takes too long. <laughs> it's no, and by the way, Imagine Dragons is not selling out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Ooh. Dragons will never sell out, man. I'm sorry, Imagine Dragons. <laughs> you, you had a couple good songs. Uh, um yeah. Also, so the comedic thing, uh, I want to say that sometimes it's the perfect like punctuation on when you're like making a point. One of my favorite emojis right now in this moment is the nail painting emoji mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because it's almost like it's almost like the Kermit sipping the tea. It's almost just like, oh, I'm not even breaking a sweat. I'm giving myself a damn manicure when you're like writing some yeah. like ratchet, like truthful, sh- honest, sh- or like if you're like, t- I don't, I don't know. So like, you can say anything bitchy and then follow with so. And then you're just painting your nails. Yes. Yeah, like okay. if you're just like giving yourself like a boost for the night, and you're like, I just waxed my mustache and I feel great. <laughs> like finger painting your and nails. The finger painting emoji know. is actually something that was like talked about a lot recently in, what? in, in news. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. And so good. Um, Michael, you are nailing this expert yeah. version. I mean, like, that's, like that's, this that's, is such an absurd one to do. That's like my 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 angle. I feel like in this podcast here is like the 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 very analytical guy that's on this. Um, the painting the nails emoji. you got a voice emoji. like velvet. And a voice like velvet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Um, painting the nails, what was the, oh, the, the most famous one of all is the crying tears of laughter. And I'll talk oh, about that in a moment. Oh, tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Oh, so good. Um, is that the one with the hands are in the air too? No, there's no, usually no hands associated. It's, okay. it's just right. a face. It's just like with, crying. Yeah, too like. For those on Facebook sh- live, it looks a little tears. like this. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like this, oh. So, um, <laughs> the, this will either be the best or worst episode of this podcast. Yeah. Um, the, uh, so whether or not emojis are actually included in the lexicon of alphanumeric or like punctuation characters, uh, the Oxford dictionaries actually did make the crying tears of joy, the word of the year in 2015. Whoa. Uh, and, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> Word oh, of man. the year was Tears All of Joy. Right, we're back up to a six now. <gasps> and that's okay, actually, because I want to push you there to like reel you back in. <gasps> okay. Why? Who's Tears of Joy? I got a strategy Stop. to this. Oh, God. Um, You're all right, just buddy. into the iceberg. I know. Jesus. So sometimes you got you to gotta like, you study the harder part of the iceberg underneath the water in order to really cave it in. Oh. I have to say, even I'm, even I'm a little irked. Right? <laughs> right. I mean, because I yeah. just, I'm a writer and I love words. Yeah. So I'm a little like, oh, why didn't you bring that up? There are a All lot right. of great words out there. Mm-hmm. And I, I like, uh, I like, think. Like, what are some great words you'd like to say? Calipigian. <laughs> what does Calipigian mean? Most have, used word of the year. To have a great ass. Are you wow. serious? Yes. I'm Calipigian? Calipigian means to have a great sentence. ass. Uh, that my uh, that girl over there is really Calipigian. Shut the hell up. Google it. I can't because you made me put my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I have all the power. Uh, well, we can bring it up on my laptop right now. Uh, I right. swear to God, it is a word. But keep going while I'm doing this. Sure. So that, uh, let's talk. Why did they make it the word of the year in 2015? So Casper Grathwall, who was the president of Oxford Dictionary, Calipigian. Having well shaped buttocks. Well shaped buttocks. Like the peach emoji. Oh my yeah. Which it's even got, got a changed. Y in there. Wow. Jesus. It's a it's a very fancy word. Calipigian. Beyonce should write a song called Calipigian. Yes, she would, and it would be awesome. Yeah. Because I'm a Beyonce <laughs> fan now. Oh. Um, if you're listening to the episodes out of order, 
You got Spoiler turned. alert. Yeah, yes. go listen to the Beyonce one. As yeah. well you should be. Okay, go on. I'm um, sorry. No, so he explains the choice, this very controversial choice, by saying, traditional alphabet scripts have been struggling to meet the rapid-fire, visually-focused demands of 21st century communication. It's not surprising that a pictographic script like Emoji has stepped in to fill those gaps. It's flexible, immediate, and infuses tone beautifully. And if you go to Wikipedia, the definition of punctuation mark says that punctuation marks are symbols that indicate the structure and organization of written language, as well as intonation and pauses to be observed when reading aloud. And so what emojis to me are, are they are used as a beautifully ambiguous punctuation, whereas punctuation marks are very um, very hard and fast and they've got lots of rules where the beauty of emojis and I think in the similar ways the beauty of acting is there's ambiguity you can layer your own cultural experiences into them so that when you see a crying uh, tears of joy that can mean it's so funny or it can mean like I, it can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different cultures the nail emoji that we were just talking about is very centered around this like sort of western idea like oh I'm, I'm so good like let's brush that off whereas it could mean something completely different just like the the light bulb over somebody's head meaning an engenderment of an idea can mean something completely Wait, hold different on. what does different. engenderment mean uh, to, that's another good word uh, engenderment to engender something to uh, to bring it into bring it up to reality rea- like if oh. I'm engendering an idea I'm coming up with an idea similar to inception like I'm start I'm incepting something I'm starting it yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. So if so you, if you, you just like, got served. No, I did. I feel like bitch. my brain's ass just got kicked. Uh, like, like, let's, let's talk about the, let's talk about the eggplant, right? The eggplant emoji could Which be an eggplant. Which means a throbbing dick. It, it always a, means a dick. Like, I mean, who, right. whoever's just like, if somebody, if I ever texted someone and said, hey, I'm going to the grocery store, what do you need? And they sent me a picture of an eggplant. I'd be like, you need a dick? Right. Like, right. it, it. I always felt it was weird that the eggplant got chosen for the dick because, well, I guess the banana couldn't because it's peeled. Because it's peeled. Yeah. And, and cucumber like, is too spot on. Yeah. Eggplant is, is, they were blazing a trail. It just looks like that episode of True Blood where Jason drinks too much vampire blood and his penis swells and he has to go to the hospital and get it drained. Never saw True Blood. Well, <laughs> I watched the first two episodes. Uh, it wasn't for me. We should oh, do a True Blood episode. Oh, I will go off on that shit. All right, great. We'll have you back for the True Blood episode. Woo, woo. Anyway. Yeah. So. Um, beautifully ambiguous punctuation. Yeah. Yep. That speaks to a visual age. Mm-hmm. It's Indeed. the future. Look. It is the future. Here's you the thing. You have to yeah, embrace no, I, progress. I, I 100% know that I do because I know that they're not going away. It's not a fad. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, you know, I, I'm not a big history buff, but I know enough to know that progress rarely takes a step backward ignoring the recent election uh but you know it's it's uh uh, things don't move backwards so i've got to get on board and that's why i wanted to do this episode i wanted to get on the bus well the funny thing is i feel like things do move forward technologically that that emojis i think will be replaced by probably like fucking holographic emoji like like it'll it will become old hat but you have to respect your elders and you have to respect the progenitors of gifts and whatever comes next. The emoticon is the grandpa of the emoji, <laughs> is the mother of the gif, is the sister of whatever is next. Uh, I knew you didn't have a fourth one. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, what comes under a... Uh, speaking of generational, like how come, well, I guess it is a generational thing why, why most older people don't use it, but when they do use emojis, is it just me or is it always weird and uncomfortable? Oh, it see? is. see, when old people use... I love that. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That's part of the joy. When you go online and you see people sharing a, like a screenshot of their mom who's like, yep. love you, honey. Umbrella, dancing lady, banana. Oh, I hate that. Oh, oh I oh think that's God. so fucking cute. What do you cute. fucking mean, umbrella, dancing lady? Oh my God, that's the thing. It's a fucking adorable mom. She's wearing mom jeans. Listen, I She's love puzzles as much as the next person, but don't technology. throw them at me when I'm not ready for it. You know what? There's don't a, make me work for your bullshit language. There's a digital skills gap in this country and older people are, they are having trouble keeping up with us and they're 
fucking trying and it's fun and it's cute and I just love when old people use it's like my mom jacket. when she texts me that she so loves cute. me she can't just use the red heart she uses all of the heart because colors because she like, fucking loves, she loves you so much, much. Yeah. so mom if you're watching I love you too like with all of the hearts you, that's all right, keep so it in my hands. come on <laughs> that is so cute it's, when you love someone so much you make you know what else I don't oh. know if I've ever felt that much love for right. anything Aaron <laughs> what when uh, now I know you're like a comic book geek, so you probably have feel out about Batman or something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some of them, yeah. Okay. Um, Batman's also, cool. you know what else? Okay, when I'm like dating a guy or something, to me, it's almost like uh, a gateway thing. I would not send like a winky or a kissy face emoji to just anyone. And like, if I've reached a point where I was like, my friends know, I'll be like. Oh my god! I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send the wiki face kiss him. Uh, okay, I did it. I said it. Ah, because it's like that is actually that, really interesting. That is really interesting because, like, I'll, I'll be texting with my girlfriend, and like, there are times when you know I'll, I'll I'll text her like I love you, and sometimes she'll say I love you back, but sometimes she'll just send me like the the red heart. Yeah, and like, <laughs> and you're like, it's over. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm like it's done. <laughs> but like, so the red heart is the same thing. To, to you guys, to me, it means less. Like, and that's just one mm. instance, but like the emojis just mean less to me. But maybe that's just me. You just think they cheapen it. You're they the kind be. of guy that wants yeah. to write with a fucking calligraphy pen in an old gurnal instead of, you know, gurnal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> instead of like. It's pronounced gif and it's pronounced gurnal. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> got it. Um,. Yeah, I get I get your your mentality that it's like cheap and flashy and you want something that feels more real yeah. and classical and timeless like typing out I love you. But you know what? You're an old fart bag. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna slightly side with Aaron on this one actually in the no, sense no you can't I know I know no, this is no. like, yes he can I, yes no, he can I was, if I get you to hate emojis that means I win well, like uh, so oh, if I'm gonna try to persuade time. like anyone to like things I I think the best way and you talked about the recent election not to talk about politics and emoji right. thing but the best way to get people to understand your point of view is also to acknowledge where they're coming from as well that like if there's not a if it's not a all me and none of you sort of thing. If there's not some give and take, then I don't think there's an effective way of like making somebody like something. Sure. Um, and I will agree that I think, at, I mean, maybe this opinion will change, but I do think that emo- emojis right now are less personal and more universal. I think that when you're, like you said, you're sending a heart text to an, uh, your girlfriend, it's much more personal if you were just to write something heartfelt and using yeah. words. But it's a universal symbol that's commercial and, maybe, and very easily recognized that you can mold in different ways. I think it, 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 this is just indicative of whenever anybody sends me an emoji, my, my thought is always, what do you mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's easier when, when she sends me a heart, I'm like, okay, for, through context, I know what that means. But right. like... When when other people it it's like sending me a puzzle and I do love mm-hmm. puzzles yeah but like there are times I just want to know like if I'll be like hey uh, well I see you at the bar at seven and it's just like a person smiling I'm just like so yeah like yeah. just say fucking yes just say fucking yeah. yes it's so fun it's a job. I also think that the use of emojis it, it it varies from person to person it's the same thing as like if you see a guy and he posts a gym selfie every single day on Facebook you're like this guy's a narcissist who's obsessed with his body I hate that but if you see someone who never posts pictures of themselves and then they post a, a gym selfie and you know that they're having a moment where they're sharing themselves with the world and feeling, feeling vulnerable then that's like awesome and I think that there's some people who like Blast, Where are you going with this? Bl- I think there are people who blast emojis out of their ass for everything, and ah. I can see why you're like. But I also think that if you're talking to someone who never uses them, and then they put one yeah. really perfectly placed emoji, like the it has impact. You can, yeah, you. Can, that's fair. That's a really you fair. You have Im- you can control that, and that's and that's you know that's a person's specific style mm-hmm. and mastery. Of the language. Yeah, like it's an impact. Like I like the, you said the, the word impact because a, a question mark like indicates the fact that it's, you're asking a question you, or it could be rhetorical, but yeah. an exclamation mark indicates emphasis. How do you indi- indicate irony? There, how do you there, indicate like, oh, I'm, this is a sarcastic remark. Like, how are you doing, honey? Or like, like 
isn't that a cool thing? But if you put an attach a winky face, like there's no yeah, punctuation mark that do, indicates I, sarcasm. Or I do sarcasm. like the idea of using it as a a, a form of, of punctuation. Of oh my that makes god! Sense. Yeah. Yes, and especially in the Tinder age, you were talking. To so, <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're talking to so many fucking weirdo strangers, and you, I've misread tone and been like, "Fuck you," and they didn't deserve it. And I know they've misread my tone and be like, "She's a weirdo," and. The emojis help so much to figure out, really, do they get humor? Do they get banter? Do they understand huh. how I'm selling? Like, it, it's really, I'm like, actually, mm-hmm. It sounds like people really are being helpful. murdered in the back. Yeah, it's, in an the improv, it's an improv <laughs> place. Yeah. Everyone's like, <laughs> I'm a talking seal. <laughs> <laughs> Those are half of it's my McDurney's level three. Half of my uh, uh, <laughs> scenes I'm in, I'm playing some sort of talking animal. And the other half, I'm playing uh, uh, someone in a. I'm playing a stepdad. Yeah, yeah. Those, Those are, my, are your two typecasts. My only two typecasts. Type yeah. Yourself, break out, baby, break out. What you got there, Michael? Um, I actually, you were talking about Ooh. a heart earlier. Yeah. And I did bring this. So I can show off to Facebook Live. I think this is one of the most recognizable emojis that we see. The heart um, in day to day. It's the heart, like the I love Aww. New York. Um, I brought in for those of you that are just listening. I brought oh, in a man. shirt that says I love Young Arts, but it, the I love New York heart. I'm so uh, glad you brought up I uh, I love New York. I the I heart New York stuff. Love the love those symbols. And why? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I heart and why. Yeah. That's fine. I get it. That makes sense. I fucking can't stand all those other ones that are just like I plain uh, 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 Ithaca I don't like those or I those. those don't make any sense. I hate those because at least I heart yeah. New York. That's a sentence. I yeah. love New York. I get yeah. it. I, yeah. But like I jogging. Uh, uh, Portland. Like, fuck you. I mean, you yeah. jog in Portland. Just say <laughs> Portland's for joggers. That's, or, or that's so. fucking Ugh. stupid. But that's not emojis. And again, that's in the power. If someone types like that, they're a fucking idiot. And that's on them. It's not on the emoji. It's <laughs> not on the emoji. I think yeah. the thing is you have to Guns separate. don't kill people. The people. People kill people. Argument. What do you think of the American flag emoji, Aaron? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, this is a oh, loaded question. Oh, man. Uh, I think that uh, I, I kneel for it at times. And <laughs> we have right now, you guys set up a wonderful set of puzzles. Yes. Uh, these are all movies? Yeah, uh, or, they're yes. all movie titles. I'm going to show them to the Facebook Live uh, They're in different audience. rows, and each row contains a, a, a series of individual emojis that, when combined, give you the plot of some movie, and you have to guess what the movie is. So for those of you that are watching on Facebook Live... Yeah, you can pause it there and guess guess if you'd like. Uh, I'm done holding that for you. Uh, Okay, so, all right, these are all movies. Correct. I'm going to see if I can guess this first one. We have a a smiling man, glasses, lightning bolt. Oh, it's Harry Potter. Yeah. And the Half-Blood Prince? No, no. Okay, so there's a cup of wine, some fire, and then in parentheses, a dragon. (laughs) Goblet it's, of Fire. Bill. Oh, Goblet of Fire. Why is the dragon in parentheses? I don't Cause know. Because there's a dragon. I actually did. I don't even know if I wrote that. Okay. Okay. All so, right, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Just to let you know the background on this, me and some friends were on a group text, and we were like, we need to kill time, and this was a game we made <laughs> up, and we like made a bunch of them. Well, uh, so, if you and, want to shout out your friends for helping out. Yeah, sure. Um, Elizabeth Neview and Hamilton Longyear. The Hamilton two- Longyear? Yeah. I don't know know him, him? but that name is fucking awesome. His name is as incredible as he is as a human being. Hamilton Longyear. And he DP'd my web series, Katie in the Bush, (laughs) www.katieberry.comedy.com. For those of you that aren't in the uh, uh, film uh, world, DP. DP does not mean double penetration. (laughs) It means director of photography, right? Yes. Pictures. (laughs) Or if you're in porn, both. But, uh, right? Okay, so number two. Uh, okay, this is, it's a red balloon, it's a house, and an arrow pointing up. That's up. That's definitely up. Yeah, yeah you could, I would even say you could just do the arrow. Yeah, you're the house and the balloon. Yeah, you, that's definitely up. Grant, if you want to play. Number three, uh, oh, that's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's a kid, there's, can, there's some chocolate, and then there's a factory. That one's pretty easy. Uh, I want a challenging one. Okay, so number four. I see uh, a, a guy, and then a girl, and there's some dice, and then there's a door, then a sheep, an <laughs> elephant... <laughs> A tiger, so and good. then this is my uh, favorite one, actually. A, a warning sign. Is this Jumanji? Yes. yes. Oh shit! Ooh, you like that, don't you? you? I'm getting these pretty fast. Uh, that was my Grant, you want to take number five? I, I figured it out, but uh, uh, 
for because uh, Grant's not on mic. It is an angel and then an arrow pointing uh, out to the right, and then a baseball. Angels and yes, it is angels in the, in the outfield. outfield. So you guys love it. You're eating this shit. I'm up. kind of really it's enjoying a, this game. Yes, because it's about imagination. I'm no. getting these a lot quicker than I thought I would. Number six is uh, a princess and then a bride. So obviously that's also Jumanji. Number seven, <laughs> there's a, a house and then a guy with his uh, hands on his face screaming. And there are three others, but it's blatantly Home Alone. It's yeah. Christmas yeah. tree and two angry faces. Oh, uh, the way you chose. No, okay. I'm going to give an extra shout out to Katie here. The the choice of the awe uh, emoji is just so perfect yeah. for Home Alone because we all think of that movie poster that's like. We're making the face. Yeah, right we're now. making we're the so face. We're so cute. It, uh, Facebook.com slash don't mind podcast if you really want to uh, see this. I feel like this is definitely a visual episode. Yes. Maybe I'll put it on YouTube. Maybe we'll make a YouTube. We don't have it a YouTube channel. It could be fun though just yet. hearing the descriptions. Most people know emojis well enough that I just hope saying so. it, they might be like, oh yeah. I don't know my audience. A princess, uh, a bride. Come on, listeners. Yeah. <laughs> blatantly. Jumanji. Jumanji. Uh, so, uh, number eight, there's a moon. And then a kind of curved arrow pointing up. That's mm-hmm. weird. And then a castle and then a tent. Uh, okay. I, now, this is the first one to stump me, so don't give me any hints. I do want to get this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I almost want to say it's DreamWorks. Uh, okay. <laughs> Moon, up, and then a castle, tent. That's, um, I thought this was really good, too. This is a weird arrow. That arrow is tripping me up. Oh, but it's the perfect arrow when you get it. Okay, yeah. uh, so the arrow curves Because it's up. not just up, but it's a... It's like a more of a verb. Yeah. It's a go, moon go, castle, t- oh. camp. Oh. <laughs> uh, Think uh, of synonyms. Listeners like probably oh, wait, oh, uh, um, a moon over... No, is this a... Moon, is this that uh, Wes Anderson? Yep. Yeah. Oh, what is it called? Moon... Moon's over Miami. <laughs> Moon's over Miami. Uh, no, what was the Miami, name of the? Not Miami. It, it could be. It rhymes, it, it rhymes with moon. Eyes. Moonrise Kingdom. There <laughs> That's you go. it. That was the name of it. There you okay. Go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't give a fuck about Wes Anderson. Uh, <gasps> That'll be a new episode. Oh no, that's okay. definitely. We got to do that wow. eventually. That's Number nine. Strong. Great. You want to take another one? Uh, this kid, their eyes looking at the, the, the little kid, then another kid, then a bee, and then a death. Oh, I got it. It's not just a kid and a kid. It's a little girl and a little boy. It's a little girl It's a little uh, with eyes looking at the little girl, then a little boy, and then a bee, and then a skull. I, I, I know this one. I actually didn't know this and one. And this one. This uh, one that me. I don't know this one. I know either. this one. Grant, you got a guess? No this is uh, my girl. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. I never saw that's my That's definitely... I didn't see it either, but I know girl? what happens in it. Uh, yeah. No, that's that's definitely my no girl. No spoilers, but my girl has some bees in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, number 10. Okay. Is number 10 all of these? Because these are five lines of them. Yes, it's Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> five. This oh, is the mecca. Oh, I know this one. What is it? Uh, well, okay. I'm not going to say all of this. I have to say all this. Yeah. Okay, it's a kid, a crystal ball, a shooting star, and then a bunch of Z's to indicate sleep, and then an adult, and then uh, the sunrise, no, a kid, a sunrise, uh, eyes looking, then an arrow, then an adult, then that another shocked home alone face, then that same adult, then an old man, and then a piano, and then a foot kind of mid-step, and then another foot mid-step, and then music signs, then it's the, the adult again, he, there's a heart, uh, a blonde lady, then it's the adult again, another crystal ball, another shooting star, another arrow, and then it's a kid. It's so obvious what it is. Yep. It's big. It's, it's big. big, which is funny because it's, it's a great. one Did you, word movie. Yeah. With it's like a one 3, word movie. Emojis. It's four, five, That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, yeah. twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four emojis. But now you don't. Well, you could say three fucking letters, but no. that was a fun game. Yes. And now you don't have to see big because that's not just the <laughs> title. That's the whole plot. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> oh. Why the double angry face for Home Alone? Uh, there's the, there's two, oh, because there's, there's two guys. The, the, the oh, yeah. The two bandits. Two that bandits. Two bandits. Sense. And one of them, their face does become red. Yep. With the iron. Uh, Okay, that was fun. That's fun. I so did. Okay, so what's fun. your hate level right now? Because I feel like it's... Well, we'll get to it at the end of the episode. The okay. We've still yeah. got some other... Okay, I'm less annoyed by them. I'll the... say that, that that game helped. That was... Uh... 
It was, it was really fun. enjoyable. It was fun. They like Sudoku. Puzzles, I like that though. challenge. I like the ones that, that challenged me. Uh, I think the more obscure the film, the more it because it, it doesn't it tests your film knowledge too. It definitely does. Yeah. Uh, if this were songs, I probably wouldn't do well at all because all my music is so fucking and like Indian obscure. To me is the fact that we use these emojis to unite us in a way that we can share in these like pop culture references. But somebody out in, in like Czechoslovakia can like yeah. use the exact same emojis to convey something that's like maybe Czech oriented that we have no idea. Um, yeah, I say that, Czech Republic, but anyway. That was one of the uh, uh, Czech mark. Uh, that was one of the uh, uh, the best selling points that you, you had for me to uh, not be such a uh, an old fart about this. Uh, yeah. I am the oldest person in the room, aren't I? How old are you? I'm 28. Yeah. I'm older than that. Oh. Well, you're uh, younger younger in spirit. (laughs) And face. Uh, But, okay. uh, Yeah, the the, the point you made where it kind of crosses all language barriers. Yes. That I had never considered. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have any friends from other countries. That's true. Because you're not woke. I know a couple (laughs) Israelites. I I, I travel a whole lot. Wait, no, screw that. My girlfriend's Australian. Uh, yeah, count. Yeah, no, it really doesn't. Oh my but God, you've never had a you never your... you've never listened to a lot of Australian slang. That shit is That's ugh. true, that is hard. That's what is what is <laughs> your really favorite hard. Australian slang word? Uh 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 what was it? Um Plaga. 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 Like a like, like a, a, a No, nope. it means flip flop. What? Oh my yeah. god. The, the, the Australian language is bullshit. Wow. Uh Plaga. Oh man! So, I, so for the rest of the podcast, I'm going to speak in an Australian accent. Is that right? Yeah. Sounds too right. Real, too real right. Good. All right. Perfect. Um, so I'm t- I need another tenny. <laughs> gash. He's going to gash him real good in the plaga, and he's going <laughs> to. I don't know if that's how it works. And that? gash means kiss a guy with a beard. That's what Bimini oh. told me. Sorry, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Bimini told me some Nash or Gash or Flash or Bosh, whatever. Anyway, That's well, the thing about Australian slang. You can be lied to. <laughs> mm-hmm. None of it makes Bonnie. sense. Okay. A mozzie. How did we get onto this? Oh, uh, talking about bullshit languages. Languages. <laughs> oh, you were talking about language barriers. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, that emojis are universal in some cases. Yeah. Okay. What I can say to that is I, I do travel a lot. Um, I go, uh, I'm a super big fan of this app called Couchsurfing. It's like Airbnb, but it's free and you can find Stay on like cultural. Oh, yeah. bug infested. It's really cool. Yeah. I mean, you, you <laughs> just have to be careful now who's with woke. it. Um, I know. It's like, don't stay on bug infested couches and stuff. But it, when I use WhatsApp to communicate, cause it's this, you can, it's not text-based. It doesn't use data. It's a, it's an how app many, called WhatsApp. How many, how uh, many different companies are, are kicking you money to plug them right now? I know a whole lot. A plug right? A plug Let me get a little bit of that. Um, plug money. I know. Like already I've like advertised the couch surfing app and the WhatsApp app. Um, but using the emojis in this like has helped me very effectively communicate across the different hosts or guests or new friends that I make that maybe English is not their first language or is even a language that they know super well and vice versa. I don't, I unfortunately only have a working knowledge of Spanish. So aside from English and Spanish, um, I I don't really know any other language. So I can sometimes use emojis as a kind of uh, Pictionary game to help bridge the gap. Ah, how often does that work? All the time. Really? You don't? Yeah. Do you ever have to like clarify with another emoji? Oh, or? I mean, because no. in my head right now, there's a dialogue playing out with someone. Because <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, when you when you're talking to someone and they don't understand the, your language, and you'll just repeat that word. I just imagine you like yeah. sending the house five times. <laughs> no, so like if I were in Italy, I would be like question mark map olive garden. <laughs> <laughs> that, that if I were in time. Sicily, <laughs> and, it, and they'd be like right here. Uh, sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> Why was that the offensive line? Because I, I felt it change. But the, that's a hit because I was doing a Cause caricature of yeah. Italian culture. <laughs> yeah, but no one feels no bad one made about fun of. We can go for Australians, Australians all, all day, but yeah. like when we cross into Italian, Italian. Because they are they are ridiculous. They are ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. ridiculous. Bully, wooly, gibbly do. <laughs> get get out of my country! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. This is a joke. This is a joke. I love. Um. Australians. They're for the best. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you want to talk about at all Kauai culture? 
No, but you do. <laughs> Not at all. Well, I certainly, I would love to. Yeah, but define yeah, it for me. We got, we got, we got a little bit of time. A couple of bits. Let's go into it. Yeah, I can do it really quickly. Um, so the the last thing that I, I did want to throw out there is the fact that like uh, one of the reasons to like emojis is the fact that they are so so important in other microcultures across the globe. In particular, the kawaii culture in Japan. So what does kawaii mean? And kawaii is this uh, sort of the word Doesn't for mean cute. cute? Yeah. yeah, cute culture. So uh, for so Hello those Kitty listening, stuff. it's a I lot, can't yes, imagine Hello anybody Kitty. saying that word without like holding up two fingers. Yeah, like the holding up two fingers kawaii. smiley thing. Like, yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, there's a whole history of how that started, oh. uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I won't Katie go into held that. up two very different fingers. Oh, what does she hold? And you won't know unless, unless you check out the Facebook check. Live video. <laughs> there you go. There's so many reasons. Just check out this video. Such Grant a does not. Grant looks so unhappy right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so go. On. I'm, I want to hear about this. Yes, please. So, um, how did emojis start? So <laughs> emojis offensive. come from the the word or the character e, which means um, uh, a picture. And emoji, which means character. So literally, their picture characters is what emoji means. Oh, like um, pocket monsters. Like pocket monsters. Like Pokemon. Pocket I feel monsters. like I was just offensive, but let's what? move on. Nah. The uh, emojis, they, they came into being in like the late 1990s, right? And uh, they came into being from the first sort of proto-mobile technology where you only had 12 by 12 pixel, pixels to put a shape or a number or a character. 12 by 12 pixels is like not a lot. It's like those old little light brights, really. And what could you do with 12 by 12 pixels? Not so much. So um, the guy's name is, and I'm probably going to grossly uh, mispronounce it, but I've got uh, Shigetaka Kurita, who um, was working yeah. for uh, mobile internet platforms. And he decided that he took inspiration off of weather symbols, like weather channels, so you can see what a sun and a storm looks like to convey what the weather is going to be as well as traditional like manga facial expressions to fit a whole lot of information back when our technology was like nothing. And that was so much that could be conveyed to so many people really quickly that people ate it up. And by the time that internet had, had really boomed in the 2000s, ja uh, Japanese culture in particular thrives off emoji, so much so that in 2008, um, uh, Apple's partner uh, in Japan basically said, uh, I mean, when Apple first released the iPhone, which took like skyrocketed in the West, it, it was not doing so well, surprisingly, in Japan. And Apple's partner basically said it is not going to do well because it doesn't have emojis. Literally verbatim is what it said. And why? Because uh, they, it was such an important part to their visual communication culture that unless they had a mobile technology that could um, you know, shoot across emojis and, and, and pictures and, and reactions, it wasn't going to get adopted. And so that's what it did. And nowadays you have... Uh, you have whole cultures that, that's, that thrive on this idea of attaching an emotional symbol to what they send as a way to like communicate and, and feel like a part of a community. Well, I, I, I will say I've noticed uh, I'll every once in a while watch like a clip from Japan, uh, like one of those talk shows where they have like uh, panels yeah. uh, and I'll see like emojis and like text appear on the screen, on the screen. underneath, <laughs> yeah. which I yeah. Fucking hate, but I, I think partly because I don't understand it, so I don't know. Yeah. But like I mean, the emoji with it, different. I'm just like, don't you tell me how to feel? Yeah, like uh, uh, I'm just like fall off the balancing beam again. That's <laughs> oh. like they have all with those the like. The, oh, are <laughs> you talking about the guy with the head? Uh, on, I was doing standing on his head, jumping up the 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 steps. I feel like every time I see TV from Japan, like getting shared on YouTube, it's always like a crazy ass obstacle course, or people are getting like humiliated, or it's like something like crazy and funny. Yeah. Anyway. We've touched about all cultures today. We've been very cultural, which right. is... Uh, I mean, that's what emojis are, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, it is. My Michael. Yes. Well, Swish. let's call it there. So if we started with me at a four, and then I got raised to a seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, briefly, yes. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my uh -oh. God. I, this game was really fun. It was so fun. I, I, I like guessing them. I don't know how often I'll be sending them, but I like, yeah. I do like guessing and trying to decipher. That's, that's, that was a fun thing. And I, I know I came into this with my head pretty far up my own ass about it. Uh, oh, we got this. He's going to say a good number. I, I'll say... I'll say it's down to one. Yes! Yay! Yeah. Is All that right. what we won then? That's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I right. mean, like, it's, it's, it's as close to me just being non ambivalent. And then there are times, like, if I'm actually solving a puzzle and I'm in the mood for it, then we're in, uh, we're off the, the we're in like negative numbers. Yay, of me. It's yeah, because I'm, I'm enjoying it then. Other times I'm like, 
just fucking tell me you'll be at the bar, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I think it's time for me to get on the bus, start using emojis more. Uh, it's hard to access it. Which one of you is just kicking me in the leg? Oh, is that me? Am I kicking you? <laughs> it I was. Oh, okay, oh, cool. I'm, I'm f- like, I'm sorry. We're footsies. I'm hitting your like jean, jean My leg, jean flap. and it's making you feel things. Sorry, yes. I didn't even know I now was doing that. No, it's Michael. No, it's Michael. Um, Aaron, mm. just remember what I said, which is hate the, the player. person, not the emoji. Gotcha. You have the power in you to use the emojis how you, how you get a laugh yeah. and how you feel. And if I really want someone to feel my fuck you to them. I'll just end it with a period. Yeah. yeah. That's totally But there's yeah. also a middle finger emoji now. So. <laughs> that's true. But then that, that's kind of a wink in and of itself. Yeah. All right. It's fun. Big victory. Michael, do you have anything to plug? Uh, I have a website, www.michaelsilberblatt.com. Uh, my that's Twitter. Still burr. Blatt. Still burr. That's right. Yeah. Burr as in B as in boy, Silber. not silver. Silver yeah. Blatt. Uh, Twitter is Silber. at Mike Silverblatt and uh, Instagram Michael Silverblatt. Uh, uh, and Katie, what do you have to plug? Um, Katie, Katie Berry. I'm Katie Berry, and you can go to <laughs> W. <laughs> Every Saturday night at, uh, well, usually around 9, I perform with North Coast at the Pit. Every Wednesday night, I perform with my team Sexy Baby for Magnets Megawatt. Uh, it's all in New York City, and the Pit is uh, People's Improv Theater. Yeah, uh, North Coast is also doing an incredible run of shows January through March called Anybody. It's an improvised hip-hop, hop or whatever the hell you call it. It's basically <laughs> Hamilton done on the spot, and it's maybe one of the best shows I've ever been part of and I love it so definitely see that also I have a web series called Katie in the Bush that you can watch at katieberrycomedy.com and I have some other fun sketches and stuff coming out and I'm just like hustling so like support Dang, female awesome. comedians yeah yes and- uh- Come have fun with me. I want to. I want to uh, back up all of those. Sexy Baby is one of the most dynamic and delightful improv uh, teams I've seen oh, recently. Thank you. North Coast is a, a New York comedy staple. They are. They are on another level. If you've never seen North Coast, you you absolutely have to look them up on YouTube. Like that. That shit is amazing. And Katie in the Bush. Very few web series actually having me have me laugh out loud, and Katie in the Bush definitely got Aww, me. Thank you, you're Aaron. welcome, Michael. I'm sorry, I, you've never sent me your no, vid no, stuff. Yeah. That's it. No, but uh, fun fact to the listener: Michael uh, and I met uh, the same time I met Doctor Eggman, former yes. guest uh, Mike Pollock, when <laughs> yep. we were all for Sonic uh, the Hedgehog episode. Yeah, uh, we Mike were all uh, voicing office supplies. We were, <laughs> in, we were? Uh, for a failed Office Max I commercial know, series of commercials. Yeah, but it was a blast. What, uh, what were you again? I was paper. I was like the the normal straight guy. Everybody else was like, oh, yeah. was like these wackadoodle characters. And I was like, oh, I'm I'm. Um, what, what's the guy from Arrested Development? What's the actor? Michael. Name? Yeah, Michael. Michael, uh, yeah. Michael Bluth. No, no, yeah, Michael Bluth. I was yeah. the Michael Bluth of that. Jason spot. Bateman. Yeah. Jason Jason Bateman. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I was the nerdy. What is that? Your printer? You were. You were a printer. <laughs> printer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that was your voice. This yeah. is. And mine fun. was just boring me. I was just like, "Hey guys, I'm paper. I'm the the new guy to the office. I hope you guys are doing okay. Like, what what can I do to help? I take you under my wing. <laughs> oh man, that would have that would have been a lot of fun. Been fun. Wait, oh. if I were an office supply, what would I be? You'd be like a sexy Why don't you, uh, uh, ooh, eraser ooh. top. Ooh, like one of those tops that you put oh, I'm on just a pencil. An eraser top. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> uh, I would like to plug, as always, the show that Grant and I run. You are not alone. An uplifting show about depression. Last Friday of every month at the Magnet Theater. Uh, so we'll be there November twenty fifth at seven o'clock. I'm sure uh, it'll be packed. A lot of depressed be. people. Oh, it's it's uh, generally a lot. It's actually a very uh, uh, up crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, because we, we keep our it, sadness then. and uh, you know, push it deep down. But I'm betting this month with the election, we'll have some pretty good essays. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah. uh, also you can follow us. Uh, Don't mind podcast on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Uh, also follow me personally. Hey, it's Aaron gold at uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, also, if you'd like to email us, uh, do it. It's don't mind podcast at uh, gmail.com. I also, uh, if you leave us a review on iTunes, uh, I will read your name uh, along with something that I like about you. Oh, that's nice. 
nice. Yeah, and I didn't think it out. So right now I'm bringing up iTunes on my computer. I've never had my computer for notes. <laughs> I, I'm always using my phone, which is much faster because this is an old, com- old little MacBook. Uh, Everybody but, likes some positive shout outs. Go leave a nice review too. and get a positive shout out in return. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll shower you with my love. Um, okay, so stalling for time. As this happens, uh, where, uh, there we go. Okay, bringing this up. Man, I could have thought of a better way to stall. God, Michael, it's like your voice is like rub, giving me a back rub. So, in a world <gasps> oh my where God. everyone wants to find you emojis. Want a, you want to have a voiceover off? Holy Let's shit. do it. Movie trailer off? Yeah. In a world where life is not how it seems. Life could never be what it wanted to be until it met death. <laughs> Coming soon to theaters near you. Oh, man. We got to do that more often. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. Sex in the city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, reviews. That one, Mickey. Oh, this is Mickey. Mickey, who did that uh, that uh, uh, theme song we used today? Oh, uh, Mickey. Oh, the things I love about you. God, your voice. You're just your personality. You're just a wonderful man. Uh, this is true. Y- yeah, Mickey Weishner, uh, uh If you've never g- Google this man, he's he's great. Um, RC Jester. I like that you are a remote control car with a Jester hat. <laughs> and Rachel Dot. Uh, I like that you're a website that doesn't feel the need to conform to a com or an org. You're just living your own life. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you, Facebook, for watching. And uh, as always, keep on minding. We did it! We did it! Yay! And, and finish. Goodbye.